The vast majority of healthcare facilities, skilled nursing, assisted living, hospitals, and the like, are all licensed by the Arizona Department of Health Services. Will Humble used to lead that very department, and after a woman gave birth, well, he searched licensing records surrounding Hacienda. They didn't have a state license number. And that puzzled me. It turns out Hacienda has no license, exempt, thanks to a state law passed all the way back in 1997. This piece, this exemption, was part of many things that were included in that bill. For Humble, no license means the state lost a valuable tool when it comes to trying to make changes. And it's a big motivating factor for them to do things the right way. And in the absence of a license like that, you remove that intervention tool that the state has. Hacienda did have oversight, though, but mainly through the federal government and contracts through the state, which account for most of their patients. But then a 911 call. Baby's turning blue, baby's turning blue. Sparking change. Senator Heather Carter says she will soon file a bill to require Hacienda and others like it to be licensed again. This will now give the statutory authority for the state to go in on its own behalf. And it could be just the tip of the iceberg, as more legislation could soon come in an effort to protect the vulnerable. We are talking about, you know, the safety, well-being, and dignity of, of our brothers and our sisters, our mothers and our fathers, our own children. 